Well, you would be hard pressed to find someone whose life hasn't been touched by cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, nearly 2 million new cancer cases are expected to be diagnosed this year alone. Monica Harden shares one local woman's story of survival and her growing mission to spread hope. Meet Laura McGregor, wife, mom, breast cancer survivor, fighter, and founder of Hope Scarves. She's giving us the first glimpse of their new office and mission. When you focus on what can be and you focus on the joy in your life, um, you focus on hope that even if it's just for a minute, you feel stronger. McGregor knows this firsthand. She was diagnosed with breast cancer at 30 while seven months pregnant with her second son. During treatment, a friend of a friend sent her a package of beautiful scarves and a note saying, you can do this. You know, it really started as a Rubbermaid tub <laughs> with a bunch of my scarves and stories to taking over my spare bedroom to now our first office space and um, three paid staff people. Two-time cancer survivor Amy Keller is the executive director of Hope Scarves. When a recipient is finished with her treatment and no longer is in need of her scarf, we ask that she return the scarf back to us along with her story. We add that you know, back into our circulation and then we can pass that along to the next survivor. A practical and inspiring gift, beautifully wrapped and sent to the home of a woman currently fighting cancer. Passing on hope, knowing someone else has worn the scarf and beat cancer intended to just be a happy package that'll make someone smile. As soon as you walk into this office, you're greeted with messages of inspiration and hope. I love this quote. It says, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. That's by Gandhi. Now, Hope Scarves next wish is to gain a sponsor so that they can create their very own Hope Scarf with messages of encouragement saying hope, strength, and survival. When you focus on the, that hope and that that strength, you physically feel better. I mean, psychological first aid, you know, all the things they talk about, mind, body, spirit, connection. A connection she knows all too well. She shares with us that five years after her initial diagnosis, it's back. I never imagined that this would happen. I thought we'd been through this and fought it, and I was feeling great, and, you know, life was wonderful for us. And, um, but I think that it's the reality of cancer. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's an awful beast. A beast she's battling this time as her hope evolves. You know, it changes. It might not be for me hope for a cure anymore, or hope for remission. Um, for me, it's hope to you know, laugh with my kids and find joy in each day and um, just live life to the fullest. And, you know, it just gives me that much more resolve to have Hope Scarves be a, a strong organization that can exist beyond me and continue to encourage people. Monica Hardin, WLKY News. Now, Hope Scarves have been sent to 600 women with all types of cancers in 47 states and even five countries. The youngest recipient is 10, the oldest 82. Now, for information on how you can send a scarf to a cancer patient or donate to the cause, visit the Scenon section of WLKY.com.